in my last video I talked about how to stop yourself from shopping, how to not want to buy stuff, and I showed you like the step-by-step -step process that I go through every time that I'm going to buy something. So everything that I'm going to mention in this video went through that entire process and I still ended up buying it. These are things that I either saw everywhere, very hyped things that everyone was talking about, or like a trend or an item that is just everywhere that I gave into and that I actually really like and I think are worth the hype. So starting with clothes and accessories, I have two sunglasses. The first ones are these Pradas that have the edge like this. We've seen them everywhere. I think I got these like two years ago. And I still wear these to death. Like I love them so much. They're so comfortable. They really block out the sun. I have very sensitive eyeballs. And these really do a good job at protecting my eyes, but also looking very stylish. They are so classic in my opinion. They just give very like, don't talk to me vibes, you know? And I love that. Then we saw these sunglasses everywhere. I'll put the exact links to everything down below, but they are these kind of like slim YSL sunglasses. And there's just something about the shape of these sunglasses that do something for me. Like, first of all, it doesn't cover too much of your eyes. So you can still see your eyebrows and features aren't hidden as much as with the Pradas. I just think they look so feminine and elegant. We've seen these everywhere, to be honest, you know, like, both of these sunglasses are probably on their way out of being a trend because it's just so like overdone. That's the point of this video though. Things that have been very, very, very hyped, very worn. If you find something that you really like that suits your face or that is very practical to you and you just love the way that it looks on you, you love wearing it, then who cares? Like just wear it, you know? Like that's the point of experimenting. That's the point of trying things out. I will say I got these for like 50% off. <laughs> during Black Friday, which was insane. So I think it was a steal because I wear them so much. All right, this is probably not gonna be a surprise to any of you, but my Adidas Sambas. I recently came across a TikTok. I, I did a TikTok on this. I saw someone talk about how they are happy that they never purchased these because it's too trendy. And I say this with every single thing. Like, yes, even if something is very, very trendy, it's everywhere. If you're going to wear it, if you find a lot of use out of it, then I don't think it really matters like how trendy or how hyped or how like everywhere something is in a moment if you're gonna get so much use out of it. Yes, I talk about, you know, shopping consciously, but if you've gone through the entire process and all of the steps that I talked about and you still want something, then just go for it, you know? Like, like when, are, when are you gonna buy it when you're 90 not that there's anything wrong with buying things when you're 90 but like yes you can hold off on things but if you really truly want to try things and you think you're gonna get a lot of wear out of them then try it out worst comes to worst you return it or you just sell it or donate you know you do whatever you have to do i personally think they can be a staple even though they're everywhere and they're definitely like the itch shoe right now. There's something about this color combination that goes with everything for me. I get so much use out of this shoe, it's not even funny. So to me, it's worth it. So yeah, these are the Sambas. I love the Gazelles. I love the Spezio, special, special ones as well. Like just Adidas in general, I love. Next I have this shirt that I'm wearing. If it makes me look like ginormous, it's because it is an oversized shirt and it's a men's shirt. I love it. I think that it's such a good quality shirt and it's not an expensive shirt. I have it in white and I have in black i could have sized down this is a medium i think could have definitely gone with a small almost everyone that talks about fashion or style on instagram has mentioned this shirt at one point or another and it's for a good reason like it is one of the best quality t-shirts that i have and i think they're only like 20 something dollars so for the quality of this t-shirt i think it's a good price and i wear it all the time and because of the longer sleeve and like the quality of the shirt it elevates your outfit this little bag right here was hyped to death i wear this all the time every time that i wear a sporty outfit now that i'm a mom like this is so perfect for me when i go on walks or when i go anywhere you know i have the stroller i have the diaper bag i have his lunchbox like i have so many things that i'm carrying so having something like this where i can just stick my wallet and my phone you know i don't want to stick it in the diaper bag like i want to just have it on me it's just the best this you can pull off with any outfit but i personally use it with my sportier outfits so yeah this is the lululemon i think it's called their everywhere bag it's such a good bag and you can fit so much in here like i fit these this sunglass case which is a pretty big case i fit this i fit my phone my wallet and a bunch of other things like all my you know 
lip products and um, like a hand sanitizer. I fit so many things in here. And I know there's dupes out there, which honestly, just get whatever you can. But this concept of a bag, just like a little crossbody, you could obviously use this as a fanny pack, but I just use it as a crossbody. Moving on to lifestyle and home. First thing is this water bottle right here. I used Yeti for a very, very long time, and I never had a problem with that thing. I dropped it so many times on concrete, like on very hard surfaces, and it was always fine. I dropped my Stanley Cup one time and it broke and I just boycotted that brand ever since. I'm a very loyal person so when I like leave a product to go to something else that new thing has like one chance with me and you know and I'm either going back or finding something better. So Yeti I don't think they have a 40 ounce bottle that's the only reason why I didn't go back to Yeti but this is just the simple modern i think it's called i got this on amazon and i like this more than the stanley cup okay it's a fraction of the price this is great because it doesn't like spill unless you completely tip it over if you like your stanley that's great i gave it a chance and they blew it so i moved on next i have a light which i'm not going to show you because i'm actually using it right now i don't even know i bought this light like three years three four years ago it's just a little clip on light that you can change the tone of it you can higher the brightness lower the brightness and you just use it to clip on your phone i clip it onto my camera and it's what i use as like my lighting source aside from my window and it's great and now since it's very very hyped again i want to talk about it i don't know if it's like as hyped on instagram but on tiktok it's like everywhere you can clip it onto anything it's super easy and it just gives very good light another thing that everybody talked about is the octo buddy and i use this almost every day i think it's great if you create content even if you don't like you know if you have a family and you want to take videos and pictures of you if you want to be in the pictures and videos with your child getting something like this is great but obviously you know if you're creating content it's also great so it's just a little thing that sticks onto almost every flat surface like glass metals and things like that doesn't stick onto wood and like certain materials but it sticks onto almost everything. This lamp that I bought in my living room, an Akari lamp, you know, Akari lamps in general, it doesn't have to be like the Noguchi Akari lamps because I know they are expensive, but this style of lamp in general is everywhere, okay? Everyone has done it. There's dupes of it everywhere. Personally, I, you know, I gave into it. Obviously, I love it so much. I think that it just brings something so refreshing to any design space. Like, it, even if you don't have the same design style as me, I think that all of these lights, not just this one, but all of them just bring something so clean and so, like, effortless and, and warm, yet elegant to a space i don't know how to describe it but every time i look at it it makes me happy so that is a good indicator for me that i spent my money wisely so this is like one of the best tripods that i have and it's just a little small tripod you click this and the legs pop open you open it like this and it extends i'm tall okay and this extends like a lot it's so perfect, so light. Honestly, I think I wanna get another one just to keep like in my car, but it's just so convenient to me, like to have things like this. You know, this fits in my purse, most of my purses. It's not that heavy. It comes with a little remote that you just clip on. I saw this everywhere at one point and it is just so practical to me and probably one of the best tripods that I own because of its ease of use. Okay, moving into beauty products. I have the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I got this many years ago, I, I don't even remember when and it changed my life ever since i can't go without it every time i run out i purchase a new one it is the best thing for me i use this like once a week sometimes once every two weeks and i only use it on my t-zone or on like my areas that get the most clogged which usually is my t-zone but sometimes it's right here it just works so well for me i cannot put it like on my cheeks and on my very sensitive areas because it does irritate me okay at the end of the day this is a chemical exfoliant so you have to be careful especially if you have sensitive skin these under eye puffs i talked about them in a recent favorites video if you guys are still setting your under eye eyes or your face with your beauty blenders or with a regular sponge you need to stop what you're doing and go buy these puffs they are going to make your makeup look so much more flawless because it's actually depositing the powder that you're picking up as opposed to a sponge which will most likely absorb things that you're picking up especially if it's damp these puffs have just changed the game for me I actually recently got them and I'm so glad I did. 
my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, I use this thing every single time I'm going out. Like if I'm wearing heavier makeup on a day-to-day, -day, I only use this other thing which I'm going to talk about. But for like nicer, more coverage makeup, I use this underneath my Hourglass Veil foundation stick and that combination is just amazing i think i want to do a video on it on tiktok because it is seriously like it's a skin combination like a makeup combination that i go back to time and time again like i don't use anything else like for heavier makeup or nighttime makeup or event makeup than that because it just works so well for my skin so yeah mixing this with any foundation is great or some people use it by itself but it's a very hyped product that i think is a hundred percent worth pretty much anything from charlotte tilbury like she just knows what she's doing in the makeup department next up my glossy skin tint as I get older I realize that the less I put on my skin the better I actually realized this way before I even got near my 30s I have dry skin so just putting a lot on my skin doesn't work out for me so this is the glossy skin tint and it is the best foundation product or like tinted product that I've ever purchased I go back to this all the time I just I can't every time I use anything else I either break out or it gets too heavy throughout the day the only other thing that I like are tinted sunscreens and I do want to try the new color science one the flex because i still have the older ones i have the glow and the regular ones and i love those but i just always go back to this i would rather use a regular sunscreen and then put a couple drops of this and have that be my base and then use concealer underneath my eyes and to like spot conceal it's also so easy to mix with different colors i always have a lighter and a darker color for when i'm more tan or more fair this thing right here is the timo hair straightener and i always talk about hair products when my hair looks like crap I need to wash my hair I used this three or four days ago and the next day after using it I went to a park it was very hot and humid and extremely windy so my entire hair shell went to crap so not the best time to talk about any hair products but the reason this is so good is because if you're somebody that loves the blowout look but you either live in a very humid climate or it always ends up frizzy no matter what you do, no matter what products you use. Like certain products do definitely help retain the style and prevent frizz, but there are just certain hair types that it's very, 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 very extremely hard to retain a blow dry, especially if you have like high porosity hair. I'm not gonna say this is a miracle worker. You definitely have to try it out with different products to see what works for you. But I love the fact that I can get a blowout look with this. Not like a traditional straightening iron. This you can definitely make your hair look like you have a blowout. Especially if you have layers. I don't have layers. And it still makes my hair look like I blow dried it. So imagine if I had layers. I think it's so good. And because of the fact that you don't have to add as much heat to your hair. I think it's better for your hair. As opposed to blow drying it where you're constantly adding heat or blow drying it and then going in with a hair straightener that you have to pass through your hair a million times like i only have to go through each piece on the top and on the bottom at most twice and i'm good for that section so what i've been doing is just kind of either drying my hair on a cool setting completely or air drying my hair and then using this i have wavy and curly hair obviously i don't have super curly hair but i've seen this being used on super curly hair and it works okay you just have to experiment with the cocktail of products that you're using prior to using this in order to get you better results there are people that want this to do all the work and the truth is that your products do 70 to 80 percent of the work your tools do the rest but you have to make sure that you're using the right shampoos even before you get in the shower you have to be sure that you're prepping your hair before getting in the shower that your shampoo and conditioner suit your hair for a blow dry to retain the style the styling products that you're using you have to make sure that they work for your hair and work to retain a style and work for blow drying or for using tools like this and then you get to the hot tools people want to skip that entire process and they want to go straight to the hot tool and they want the hot tool to perform a miracle you have to be realistic and the last thing that has been very hyped which it's an honorable mention because this is the only thing in this entire video that was actually sent to me but road products in general but they're lip balm like these are the regular ones i want to try the tinted ones i haven't tried them yet but i wear this with everything like i just put on a regular lip liner right now and i throw this on top of every single thing that i put on my lips and it lasts so long if you have dry lips or cracked lips or lips that just don't cooperate with you half the time 
you need to try something like this. I don't know what it is about it. This lip balm makes my lips look so much better than any other lip balm I have ever tried. I used to love the Summer Fridays one. This has replaced that one. Like every other lip balm just does not compare to this. So that is it. Those are all things that I bought because they were very hyped and I was influenced to buy that I actually really love and use all the time and think are 100% worth the hype. If you guys want me to de-influence you from buying things, Check out my last video. I talk about things that I do that talk me out of buying stuff all the time or just like the entire process that I go through every single time I'm going to make any purchase. So I went through all of that checklist that I talked about in that video before buying all of this. And it worked out for me because I ended up loving everything. And I don't want, I don't mean to brag or anything, but eight or nine out of 10 times that I buy something nowadays, I end up loving it because I've just gotten so good at knowing like what's gonna work for me and what's not. That's a little bit of a flex in this day and age where products and things are just being thrown at you all the time. And there's just like so many hyped things out there. It's a skill that you can learn and I think it's a very useful skill and your wallet will really appreciate it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.